Hey again, thanks for joining me. It's Niall Langfield from Trademark Craft and uh, we're in 100 days of trademarks. So I'm wearing green today because cannabis. So we're talking about some cannabis trademarks and how it can be trademarked in the US. US. So since uh, the legalization of cannabis in a number of the Western states um, and the permissibility for medical use and so on across, uh, generally across the union, uh, there's a f sort of a third I think that haven't uh, allowed for it and two thirds that have and the full legalization is, is taking place, seems to be spreading to more states, especially in view of Colorado's budget surplus which was pretty impressive and I think a lot of states are looking at uh, new revenue sources. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, it is federally illegal. So which makes an interesting conundrum because you know, these are, uh, these are big businesses, these are brands, they're developing strains of marijuana, uh, marijuana like delivery services, marijuana cafes, um, grow ops and so on and uh, brand names need to be protected. So we've had success with filing federal trademarks for non-cannabis items, okay? So what we're talking about federally, because that's your preferred type of registration, it's gonna cover you across the union, and it gives you a lot more robust protection than the state registration, which I'll get to in a second. For federal, we can have websites providing information on marijuana, other tech services that give marijuana information, put people in touch and so on, like forums and uh, chats and so on. But the federal application cannot include any the handling of marijuana, any of the growing of marijuana, or any of the, the selling or use of marijuana. All these things are still federally illegal and your trademark application will be rejected. I forgot. Uh, T-shirts and clothing. Don't forget hats and branding and so on with the you know the marijuana strain. That is going to be a uh, big business in the future. So add that to uh, your trademark application federally. Okay, you can have a, um, a clothing brand that's linked to marijuana. Assuming it's legal in your state now for recreational. What we're talking about is a state registration. State registrations vary by state, okay? So they are more of a like a corporate kind of proceeding paperwork. They don't give the same kind of rights as a federal registration, but they'll give you a presumption of validity in your favor as you start to use it. And later on, if you're challenging someone else's use of your brand on a common law or unregistered trademark basis, it'll give you some support for your ownership of the trademark. Okay, so state trademarks, Secretary of State normally does that. If you go on their website, you, you may see a link for um, filing a trademark or you can contact uh, like a firm like us to uh, to file it for you. It, official fees are less than the federal filing and you will need to have the mark already in use. So you need to have some uh, product samples, let's say packaging samples, you know, you don't wanna be uh, mailing uh, marijuana around because that is a federal offense. So uh, sample packaging, photos of that that you've actually sold, and you also wanna have um, records of the sale dates, invoices, etc. And it may be put it on the product itself, depending on whether the product can uh, support you know, the, uh, your brand name on it, like a, like a vape device or something like that. So then you can file for your state registration. The examiner there will review for you know the completeness of the application and will compare it to other registered state marks. And if they don't find anything um, confusingly similar, then your state uh, mark goes to registration and it gives you another, you know, another, let's say, arrow in your quiver for protecting your brand in this uncertain field, right? Right now, uh, you know, federally illegal, statewide, uh, sometimes legal, and it's like business has to continue. So, you know, we're kind of stuck in the middle because of these, uh, the split in the regulations. But as I mentioned, you can file federally for non, you know, related businesses, but not directly 
connected to the grow growth and sale and consumption of marijuana and you can file a state for the others assuming it's legal in your state um, you can file a state registration for your trademark that way and always keep in mind unregistered marks can be tremendously powerful now trademark attorneys don't talk about them because they can't charge anything for them they don't uh, make any money off unregistered marks but that exists out there so it's just using the brand consistently monitoring your use, putting your, um, keeping records of sale and so on, and using a TM in superscript beside your mark. So that is, in a nutshell, how you start to get uh, control over an unregistered mark. Okay, so happy growing or, uh, or sale, as the case may be. And uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Please subscribe and we're going to give you lots of updates on, you know, getting your marks protected for your business. Thanks.